but that period um how do you exit from that period okay so how i exit is um i mean it as i said you know no word worked on the uh, supported the, the development of a constitution yes. and then there were all these campaigns and uh, civic education uh, 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 around the referendum and then the development of the laws and then of course there's still other corruption that was happening mm. uh, there was stuff on anglo leasing stuff that has never ended on golden bag and many new corruption happening there's a triton mm. oil scandal that happened then <laughs> there's a May scandal there's mm. a grand regency scandal so every other day corruption was a major thing it was a major thing in the yeah. grand coalition yeah. Yeah. yeah that had its own fair share of corruption yeah. yeah scandals yeah. so there are a lot of things happening mm. and naturally also you get tired mm. you get mm. tired mm. So I, I it, 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 it saps your energy yeah, out of it you. Does, it does. So I thought, oh, okay. Um, I've done three years, mm. and I, I think I'd had a history of doing three years, three years mm. for every job. Mm. So I, I thought, okay, let me, let me look for something because now I thought I'd also gone through too wide. Mm. I was doing, I was doing outreach, mm. uh, civic education, mm. uh, legislative drafting, advocacy. Mm. I was doing. I felt like I was doing a lot, mm. which was good because mm. I was growing. Mm. But I told myself I want to go back to just communication. Mm. Yeah. So I thought, let me just go back to communication. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I, I started applying for jobs mm. and then this opportunity came. I, I applied for a job. BBC Media Action was starting mm. a program on elections, which was perfect because mm. I'm like, okay, I'm still not really getting out of the governance space because I'm going to be working on elections, mm. but I just want to work on communications. Mm. And I knew BBC Media Action is not really, it's not an advocacy institution like TI, mm. which was, I mean, it's a media, yeah. a charity. Yeah. So they were, they were starting up a program um, called Sema Kenya, mm. which was supposed to help with uh, this, uh, you know voter education, mm. public education generally mm. on on the elections mm. and just frame different issues. You know, we've just passed a constitution. Mm. What are the things we are looking at as we go into the next elections? Very educative, not mm. not really can I see sensational mm. Uh, mm. kind of programming, but mm. very more educative. So I was interested in that, and they wanted someone to head the communications and training. Uh, unit, mm -hmm. which was basically going to be responsible for the marketing of the program and, and uh, the, the dissemination of the program, as mm -hmm. well as, uh, you know, the, the different communication platforms, social media, mm -hmm. which are just uh, becoming very big in Kenya, mm -hmm. website, and also training and mentorship of journalists mm -hmm. who are going to be reporting on the t in the 2013 elections. Mm -hmm. So they wanted them to learn through the production of Sema Kenya. So right. I applied for the job. Mm -hmm. I got it, mm. and so I, I went there in July, mm. to the, actually June 2000 and, and, um, 2012, mm. so just a year to the elections, mm. and yeah, so there I started my work, which mm. is a fresh program, uh, we just started production, as in the whole team had just been recruited, mm. there were a lot of people who were seconded from BBC, right. um, uh, mostly from the BBC Swahili service, because mm. it was going to be a Swahili, uh, it was a Swahili uh, it, it, it was yeah there was some aspects around yeah the Swahili program um but then so we, we had to get a lot of journalists from we got some journalists from bbc mm -hmm. uh, swahili service mm -hmm. and of course the, the editors as well mm -hmm. and then of course there's a production team that was new my mm -hmm. own communications team so it's a whole big enterprise mm -hmm. developing this program mm -hmm. and then of course for us the challenge was this was a new program mm -hmm. and wanted it to hit mm -hmm. you know <laughs> mm -hmm. hit the ground running mm -hmm. because we didn't have much time to the elections mm -hmm. we started i think broadcasting like just a few um, around um, October, oh, wow. October, November thereabouts, mm, mm. and um, we ju with just about six, five months to the election. Mm. So we really needed to popularize this program mm. if we we're going to really use it as a tool for education. Mm. So that was on us as a mm. communication mm. And, and training team. Mm. And then, of course, there's an the aspect as I mentioned around mm. um, mentoring journalists mm. uh, because BBC is big on mentorship, mm. and uh, when they do this kind of development programs. Mm. Mm what they're also trying to do is transfer that skill to mm. the local mm. local journalists mm. and local production teams mm. so there's a whole learning component to it mm. where we were trying to we had broadcast partners right. because we weren't paying a cent mm. to broadcast mm -hmm. uh it was first broadcast on ktn mm -hmm. and then in the second season it was broadcast on kbc but mm. we we're not paying them mm. instead those are kind of a, an agreement that we we're going to air the program mm. but then we we're going to give them the content mm. but then we would also um, um 
train um, train like the production teams mm. they are going to learn mm. you know because now BBC was bringing in all these experienced mm. uh, journalists from you know mm. uh, from from of course BBC mm -hmm. it's the BBC news desk yeah. but there are also the production teams some of them who came initially from London mm. so there was of a lot of learning mm. for even the local mm. uh, uh, broadcast mm. journalists mm. then we we had just a, a different you know uh, training for them where we'd match them even to mentors mm. where they were now they were doing stories and mm. were working with our mentors mm. in terms of their own election stories mm. such that mm. by the time Kosema Kenya we knew of obviously was just going to be something mm. that was going to be there for now mm. uh, but then what you know what legacy you mm. know uh, what uh, do, you, do, do you ensure you leave behind mm. to ensure that even in the next other elections, mm. there would be strong reporting. Right. Yeah, because that mm. was a, that's a whole development aspect of mm. it in mm. terms of BBC Media Action. Mm. So yeah, so we are responsible for that mentorship and, and training. Mm. We did that. Mm. So we covered, we did the election programs mm. uh, up to March 2013. Mm. And then from there, there's a bit still more around the transition because mm. now the focus was on devolution mm. for all these 47 new mm. county governments that mm. are being created. So there are all these questions around mm. how does it work? You know what does the constitution mm. say mm. so now the focus was on that on mm. devolution so mm. we continued now running and then of course now for us as communication team and mm. and, and marketing and training mm. is now picking up what are the issues the discussions coming up mm. on, on on devolution the mm. questions the debates ensuring creating that debate on social media yeah you know taking back that debate again to the tv mm. to the next programs what mm. are the issues that are being discussed mm. and all that so there's a whole strong component also on research mm. And so on. It, it was, I think, it was a beautiful program mm, uh, mm, at that time. Mm. Um, but then I, I, I think for me, uh, because I'd come from where I was doing so and much, think, yeah. and then now it's just one thing. And then I, 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 at that point, I realized that I'm not, um, I am not someone. Who, I, I am, I, I am not good with by products mm. i'm better at the content development mm. because i felt oh i wish i could be more in the content development mm. than dealing with the because i was dealing with a byproduct mm. mm. so marketing and things like that yeah, yeah. so i started actually yearning for my ti yeah. job <laughs> <laughs> i started yearning for my ti job and yeah. just looking back hey but they actually at ti i did i was yeah. doing this and this and yeah. that yeah. and i felt and i felt that i was not growing mm. I felt that, that I mean it was a nice program mm. it was a nice place to work but mm. to be honest I just felt I wasn't growing because mm. I'd come from doing this much mm. and now I'm doing just this much mm. it is so narrow mm. yeah mm. and not so deep because mm. I'm, I'm I'm not looking at content I'm mm. not researching mm. I'm not writing so much mm. you know I'm not I'm not I'm not pushed beyond my comfort zone you mm. know at here you'd wake up you go to work you then things just happen and you have to there's so many imagine issues mm. you have to pick them up you have to pick them up yeah. you have to proact and react agenda mm. set mm. but this one was about you know it's a very polite organization mm. we're just you know it's just about development journalism mm. and i realized mm. then that i actually that path that bag journalism bag had left mm. you know mm. i was more into you know being in the thick of things mm. and you know mm. uh, setting the agenda i was mm. more into that space mm. Mm. So, yeah, luckily at that point when I'm still working at BBC, actually before the end of the first year, mm. um, I get a call from the HR of TI. Mm -hmm.